Hello everyone, today I'm going to share you some tips on how to manage your Scopus account, especially on how to check your H-index and how to increase your citation. First of all, you must log in to your Scopus account. So you can log in either using your personal login account or you can use your university account. And then once you have login, you go to your own author's detail. So this is my author's detail. My name is Intan Zaura Maddarus, and this is my account, Scopes account. All right. If you look here on your author's detail, you'll find of all the information about yourself. So your affiliation and all the formats of names that you have published in Scopus. And these are your subject areas. You'll see there's a document. Uh, published by yourself so this is 124 documents i have published and this is the total citation that i have received from my friends and uh, co-authors and colleagues so with that citation i have received a h index of 14 so what does it mean by h index of 14 you can actually click this uh, view h index graph when i click that view h index graph it will go to this uh, screen where you will see these are the document that you have published and when you have H index 14, it means to say you have 14 account that have received at least 14 citation each or higher. Okay, so there are 14 document that have received at least minimum of 14 citation and above. So in this case, I have received uh, 16 citation and above so which is very good okay so this is your uh, this is what it means by h index so if i receive another you see this one this citation is 14 here so if i receive another citation for this particular document uh, publication i will increase my h index to 15 and so on and so forth so it means to say if i need my h index to be 16 17 or even 20 it means to say all these documents, 20, the first 20 document must have citation of 20 and above. Okay, so right now, let's say I need to increase my citation. Uh, this is the tips that I normally do when I have some free time. So if you look at this paper here, this is the one paper that require one more citation so that my H index will increase to 15. Okay, so let's have a look. What is this document? All right, this is a very old paper of mine uh, published in 2006 under a journal of uh, low frequency noise vibration and active control uh, entitled Parametric and Non-Parametric Identification of Two-Dimensional Flexible Structure. Okay, this paper is open access. So open access means I can share it with everybody. So you, you must check the journal if you have any copyright uh, copyrighted or not. Okay, in this case, it's open access. So I can share it with everybody. So I can actually share this document in my other account that can be assessed by public. For example, Research uh, ResearchGate. I can, uh, I can share it in LinkedIn and many more okay but uh, today I'm going to show you one method that I do uh, by emailing my uh, document my uh, manuscript to people that have cited me before so of course people that have cited you before there are people who are actually doing research similar to your research that's why they cite you before isn't it okay first and for all, foremost you must first of all click uh, Create your bibliography for this particular paper. So if I click create bibliography here, all right, you can choose either, you need to choose as a text, okay? These are the styles that you can choose. I normally use the first one, the simplest one. Click create bibliography and you'll get this uh, text coming out okay? So you this is the way that you want your, peop, your friend or your colleagues or your uh, other authors to cite you copy this okay and what i do is i will actually create a template document like this okay i have temp uh, create a template email like this uh, thank you for your citation dear dr xx thank you for your citation on my previous publication and blah 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 and i then i attach my um bibliography just now for the particular paper that i need to increase citation 
uh, on this account. I also will attach the paper. So yeah, let's attach this paper because I have it uh, on my computer. So I can just attach it. Okay, so this is the paper. So I can just attach the document here. All right, then who are we going to send this to? All right, my suggestion just now is you go and send it to the people that have cited you before. Okay, let's have a look. Who have cited you before? Okay, so uh, of course you need the people that cited you before is the people that um, on the similar topic. So this is a parametric and non-parametric modeling. So maybe I can go to this paper here, non-parametric modeling. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Okay, so this is a non-parametric modeling of a rectangular flexible plate. So it is a very similar research. Okay, uh, so why don't we have a look at who have cited me before? So there are these documents have received 26 citation before. Okay, and let's view all the 26 citing document. Okay, so these are the people who have cited be, uh, me before on this particular paper. All right, so let's let's select one. Let's let's say I am going to select this um, uh, Mr. Dr. Raj here. Okay. All right, so this journal have cited me before. Okay, so I'm going to email Dr. Raj. So the way that you're going to get his uh, email address, you can right click and then you can copy the email address from uh, this link that you have here. Okay, and then you just go to your email and then paste it. Okay, so now you are emailing Dr. Raj. Uh, what is his full name? Uh, Raj.r. I do not know this person, isn't it? Of course. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write his name according to his scopus of style of uh, format of name. Dr. R. Raj. Okay. So this is my template. I normally have this template because I'm going to do it regularly. So I put, thank you for your citation on my previous uh, publication before. Uh, attach, please find another paper that might interest you and title this. Okay, so these are the paper that I want to increase my citation. All right, then uh, I hope you get benefited from this paper and feel free to disseminate your this paper among your collaborators and students. Then I'm going to send it. All right, done. So that means that Dr. Raj or Professor Raj have received this document, uh, this uh, paper that I want to increase my citation. So I will do this to other several authors as well. Okay, I will select other authors. All right, and then I'm, for example, this one here, I can just simply go there and then select his uh, email address again and then copy his email address again and then post the email uh, post the document to email the document to them so this is what i'm going to do uh, and i will by the end of the day when they actually publish some papers so the, if it's interest them they can actually cite the document that i need to increase my citation so as soon as this document increased by one citation my h index will increase to 15 okay that will be all for my tips today thank you